Hi, I'm Eric, and this is my garage. Hey everyone, welcome back. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna press our frets, all 22 of them in, in the neck here. Step one, we've got our, our fret wire here, Stuart McDonald fret wire. This is a, a number 152 fret wire, it's kind of a medium high fret wire. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got a cool little uh, fret bender device here from Stuart McDonald, just cuts a lot of time out of the whole thing rather than than uh, cutting the frets individually. I usually cut them at about two and five eighths wide. And the old school way is taking a, a fret bender and actually radi hand radiusing the frets. But this, I'll show you how this works. Really awesome. Just slip it in here. Got, it, got that set up right. And it just pulls it in here. Now I've got this set at, at a 12 inch radius. That's what all my fret boards are. Then I turn it around and I do it one more time, backing it through again. I flip it around, run it through one more time, just to make sure that that radius is in there. So we got a nice 12 inch radius. And then we'll, what I'll do is I'll take it over to the workbench and I'll cut roughly like two and five eighths increments. Okay, so after we've taken the piece of fret wires and, and we've done the, uh, the radius on them, on the fret bending machine. I cut them all and I line them all up in this little block that I made years ago. So they're all cut. Free radius now and they're ready to press. So now I'm gonna lay the neck in here. I can start with the very first fret, first piece of fret wire here. Go get my fret hammer real quick. See how nice that presses in, flush. Now, Daddy, now. <laughs> so, now we've got all the frets pressed in. So what I'm going to do is take this handy dandy Stuart McDonald file here. I'm just going to run it along the sides and uh, clean up where I nip the frets up, cut them. Once you get it started, it glides, you know? It's just that beginning. This is smooth, though. This is nice, you know? Real nice. Then the bevel will come in, be real nice. So now I've basically filed flush the fret ends with the board. So now what I'm going to do before I do the bevel is I'm going to take a piece of masking tape and just mask off one side. The reason why because on the other side, I got some very thin super glue with a little tiny uh, pipe, little pipette that I attached to it. Then I'm gonna drop down super glue into each channel. So we'll glue the, we'll, the frets will be essentially glued in. No chance of them popping out, you know. Take a blue marker and I mark the top of each fret off. So that way, 
when I start leveling the frets, I can see what's been removed and what hasn't. Then you go over it again once more. Okay, so we got our tops all marked off. I'm gonna mount this in my handy dandy vise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way through this very gently and I kinda, I do like a crisscross pattern with this thing. And bring all these frets together. What I'm doing here is I got my little Stuart McDonald fret rocker. It's a finely machined on each side. I check in between the frets for, for any high spots after I, after I level. So far, everything's, everything's feeling pretty good. So once we get everything where we want it, then we can recrown the frets and put a new crown back on them. Just a little bit, a little minor rock here, so give it a little bit of filing here and bring bring these last set of frets all together. Feeling good. Super nice stainless steel jobber here, man. It's a nice boy here. We're good, man. So Got the frets leveled. So what we can do now is uh, put a crown on them. Now I can tell. I can tell. I didn't take a whole lot of meat off the top of the frets, which is a good thing because it's not taking a whole long time to put a crown back onto these. That's good. These are called fret erasers from Stuart McDonald. You start with uh, 180 grit, 400 grit, 600 grit, 800, and 1,000. You do them in sequential order, you're polishing the frets, and then I always take some, qu some quadruple zero, four-aught steel wool, and give it a final polish. Basically what these these uh, lower numbered grits do is they burnish and they get the tooling marks out from the uh, file, the diamond file. They start smoothing it out, you know. It looks like an eraser, it flexes like an eraser, but they've got some kind of grit in them. Magical. Can you see the difference? Okay, what I've done here is uh, we pressed the frets in last time and uh, after I press them in I got it to uh, clean the edges up after you know you cut all the frets off the sides all the excess then we put a 35 degree bevel angle on there you can see that along the edge there nice 35 degree angle um, then after that you got to recrown everything because after you level them they're all everything's perfectly flat on the top whereas perfect as you get it. Then you got to recrown them. So I recrown them with a real nice uh, diamond recrowning file that I got from Stuart McDonald. And then you, then you have to go through each one in this polishing process that I use uh, all these different grits, you know, to bring it up. And uh, then I, the final thing I do is uh, steel wool. And then, uh, then I give it a final polish. I got a little air buffer that I use that I run across it and uh, gives it a real nice shine. So frets are basically done and the neck is ready to be glued in to the body. And there you have it, that's it.